All right, folks, another video. Okay, this one's about a couple of topics. First was Donald Trump made his first defeat with the uh, American Health Care Act that, of course, no surprise, no Democrat supported it whatsoever. That was not a shocker. But even half the Republicans were not on board either. This so-called Freedom Caucus. Freedom Caucus, they call themselves. Really? A bunch of libertarian assholes? I guess they like living under legalized theft and tyranny from Obama enacting that law, stealing more of your money. Because if you don't have health care, well, they're going to make you pay a fee and through the IRS used as a bully pulpit to take more of your tax money, more than you already get stolen from you. Now, even though I'm a staunch Trump supporter, well, the good news for him and the bad news for Democrats is, well, he's man, unlike Obama, who's a wet blanket, wet noodle, pussy ass little homo, the gay Muslim, well, Donald Trump's a man enough to admit defeat. It's like, okay, well, it didn't pass. We got defeated. We had no support from the Democrats. Once again, no shocker there. And even half the Republican Party was against it. So, well, take that thing and put it on the bottom drawer of the White House desk and the hell with it. And let Obamacare collapse and implode all on its own, which it will very soon. If not soon, within a year or two. As state by state by state by state, one after another, soon they're not going to have any insurance providers because they're all bailing out of Obamacare because it's unsustainable. It's just fiscally ridiculous. And socialists like Bernie Sanders and all you people on the left think that, oh, we have a right to health care. Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders, everybody should have health care. They have a right to health care. No, you don't have a right to health care in spite of what everyone on the left thinks. There's nothing in the Constitution that says you have a right to health care. Health care is a service. It's a service. I mean, going by that logic, what's next? You want free electricity? You want free water, free gas, free, free everything. Everything for free. Yeah, well, pfft. you want a socialist society, huh? Why don't you go ask all those people in Venezuela how that's working out for them? Not too good, I would think, considering how every store in Venezuela is, <laughs> all the store shelves are empty. They don't have any health care. They have nothing. There's people starving to death and digging out of dumpsters for a goddamn peach pit, for Christ's sake. And fish bones. There's no stray dogs and cats in Venezuela, if you take my meaning. So, that's his new strategy, our President Donald Trump, is let Obamacare just collapse on its own. They tried to fix it, and Democrats and even half the Republicans were against it. Okay, fine, I'm not going to bicker and argue. I'll admit defeat, put it on the bottom drawer, and the hell with it. We'll go on to something else, tax reform or infrastructure rebuilding, which Democrats will probably fight him on that. And it's nothing to do with what's good for the American people. That's what's rotten about you goddamn communist, rotten, scumbag Democrats. And notice how the word rat is at the end of the word Democrat. It's, uh, they just hate Donald Trump. It's got nothing to do with what's good for the American people and possibly work with the guy and be like, well, we don't agree with him, but this is good for the American people. Oh, no. Oh, no. They just hate him in every, and they were trying to destroy him. At every turn and at every interchange. It's pretty sad. All you're doing is increasing his support. And the support will be increased when all the people that are still on Obamacare that think it's such a great thing. Well, let's see what happens when your premium goes up 116, 120%. And then you have to decide between health care and providing food for your family. <laughs> And then we'll see how well you like Obamacare and Democrats. Okay, that's that. Next part of the video was you people on the left, especially 
the so-called leftist icons like Rosie O'Donnell and Michael Moore, fat slob psychopath lunatics, both of you, both of you, both of you should both of you should get married. We, you can't tell if, if either one's a man or a woman or they're both gay or what. You might as well just get married. Michael Moore and Rosie O'Donnell, just get married. And you can be the champions of the left. And then both go move to Syria and support the Syrian refugees over there. That's what you're so big on, right? Syrian refugees and immigrants. I shouldn't say immigrants. I should say refugees. That's another thing that they keep harping on. That Donald Trump's travel ban is unconstitutional and evil. No, first of all, it's not evil. And it's not unconstitutional. Fake tears, Chuck Schumer, asshole, communist, rat bum. It is nothing un-American about it. What's un-American, asshole? It's allowing a bunch of freaking Islamic people to come in here and transform the country. Who do not assimilate. And do people on the left want to... You know, bring up the Statue of Liberty and, and say, oh, give us your poor, give us your tired, give us your hungry, and blah, blah, blah. Well, don't compare the two, dickheads. There's no comparison. Because back then there was a, a, Italian immigrants, Irish immigrants, Hungarian immigrants, who actually were treated like shit and spit on. There was a lot of racism and discrimination against them. But most of them were Catholic and Christian. That was a different time and a different era. We're looking at something totally different now. A bunch of people who do not assimilate. They do not even want to work. 90% of them are on welfare or will be on welfare when they come here because they look at it like it's against the religion to work for the infidel. Yeah, that's right. Schumer, Pelosi, Feinstein. While we're on the subject, that Diane Feinstein. She's like 178 years old. She's been in the Senate for like 77 years. For Christ's sake, get rid of these dinosaurs. You rat, bum, communist scum on the left. But anyways, I kind of got off on a tangent there. The second part of the video was supposed to be about the hatred, absolute hatred for Donald Trump. I'm totally convinced that if Rosie O'Donnell met Donald Trump and she had a knife and a gun, she'd try to kill him. She would try to kill him. I'm totally convinced of that. I'm not so sure about Michael Moore. He's too much of a pussy, coward, marshmallow. But Jesus Christ, man. you, Yeah, us conservatives and people that are like traditional family values and traditional American values and so on and so forth, the things I grew up with that seems to be evil and racist and all this other stuff now, well, when Obama was reelected, we didn't behave the way you people are behaving. You people are mentally deranged. I mean, really fucking nuts. Look at Rosie O'Donnell's tweets. She's, she's crazy. And I mean, really fucking crazy. I hate to use profanity, but in her case, can't help it. <laughs> she just makes it all too easy. It's just a sad state of affairs, man. But us on the right, yeah, Mitt Romney lost. He was a terrible candidate. It was just a flop, a total flop. That's the best we can come up with back in 2012, for Christ's sake, Mitt Romney. But we sucked it up and we, we accepted him as our president. Even though I didn't agree with the man, I agree with nothing he stood for. I don't agree with Islam. I don't agree with what Islam stands for. I don't agree with fundamentally transforming our freaking country, which did not need to be fundamentally transformed. Donald Trump's going to transform it back. But we didn't behave the way you did. We didn't go rioting and looting and stealing and burning shit up, attacking everybody violently. We didn't do that. Well, most of us were too busy working, for one thing. And you people still have not accepted the fact that he is your president. Not my president, not my president. No, Hillary is not my president. But when Barack Obama got elected, there was nothing personal against the guy. It was just what he stood for and his policies. I didn't wish any ill will on the guy or his family or nothing like that. 
I even got into arguments with other people on the right that were talking about his kids and whatnot. I was like, dude, blah. So, excuse me. It's like, you got to stop talking about his kids. His kids have nothing to do with the politics. You could disagree with the guy, but leave his family out of it. But even the left doesn't do that. They got Rosie O'Donnell talking about Baron Trump and you know, attacking his wife, attacking Ivanka Trump. And you people on the left are fucking nuts, man. But the third part of my video is you're all but guaranteeing he's going to get reelected in 2020. Who are you going to run? Cory Booker, Kamala Harris, Keith Ellison, Louise Gutierrez, or any of you leftist scumbag communist pieces of shit. <laughs> I wouldn't count on it. After eight years of Obama, as much as I hate to say it, I wouldn't count on another black president for quite a long time. And that's just the sad truth of it. He saw to that. Well, I think I made my points. The points I wanted to make is that you people on the left are totally insane and mentally deranged. The more you have your rancor and absolute hatred, undying hatred, Especially people like Rosie calling Donald Trump the worst human being ever. Oh, really? Worse than Saddam Hussein, Osama bin Laden, Ted Bundy, and, and, and so on and so forth? Really, Rosie? I would love nothing more to debate that fat, disgusting pig. Pig. I mean, you're, you're just such a fat slob, your fat sausage fingers you have. Jesus Christ. That's what we have to deal with on the left. That's the spokespeople for the left. Rosie and Michael Moore. And the blithering idiot, idiot Rose, or, uh, Nancy Pelosi. Who, remember a couple weeks back, she's, oh, well, there's nothing I've seen that I can work with President Bush on. <laughs> Dumbass fucking bitch, you don't even know who that goddamn president is. President Bush, way to go. How about get some more Botox injections there, Pelosi? <laughs> and fake tears, Chuck. And oh, yeah, Keith Ellison, another scumbag. First Muslim congressman. Yeah, I know what you stand for. I would love nothing more to fight your punk ass. F physically, one-on-one, -on -one, man to man No secret service, just you and me, boy. Because I would love nothing more. I can't stand Keith Ellison. I don't know where this came from, but this is point number four, I guess. I just edited it. That I'd be fighting for America, motherfucker, Keith Ellison. You'd be fighting for, well, whomever. All right. I made my points. I made my rant. That's enough. Because, oh, here's to the continuing strategy of Donald Trump where... He lost this battle, but not the war. And when Obamacare implodes, Democrats will have to answer for it. Can't blame Trump for it. They're the ones that created it back in 2010. They own it. So, good luck, Democrats. And we'll see when Donald Trump keeps winning after you guys keep defeating him on stupid shit. Even what's good for the country, even Democrat voters would be like, well, this is actually a good policy that's going to help us. And you guys are stopping him just because you hate Donald Trump. Not what's good for the country, you just hate Donald Trump. It's going to backfire on you. Trust me. You think you're going to win in the 2018 elections? Well, all of us that came out and voted for Trump, do you think we're not going to show up? You think we just disappeared? Do you think we're going to forget? you think we, be, we became lackadaisical and complacent? No. The election of Donald Trump, in my opinion, was like a drowning man that just got one last gasp of air. Like, ugh, ugh. Just barely before we just become under tyrannical rule. Believe me, us on the right have not gone anywhere. We'll be back in full force in 2018 and 2020. And all the jobs that he brings back, he'll have even more support. Good luck with that.
Alzheimer's Pelosi, Fake Tears Chuck, and Ancient Dinosaur Diane Feinstein, and all you other lunatics on the left. Scumbag Keith Ellison, piece of shit Luis Gutierrez. All of you. You guys are done. Bye. See you soon. Ha, 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 ha.